Hello Agilers, today we're back with yet another new installment with the Agile Point Generative AI capabilities, which is truly fascinating. AI agents. These cutting edge technologies are the future of generative AI and will revolutionize and boost the automation of generative AI while increasing its output results. ChatGPT was only released one and a half years ago, yet changed our lives and markets since. Generative AI has exploded with new models such as Gemini, Cloud, Lalma, and many more, which have become much smarter and multi-model capable, and the pace of change is increasingly moving up. Machine learning and AI have been at the forefront of Agile Point, and the platform have been designed ground up to take advantage of advancement in AI and machine learning. Our platform is designed to build apps to enable humans and AI to work together in a very effective manner. Agile Point NX allows seamless integration of data, processes, and events with AI and also connects to your third-party systems and or web or mobile apps. Building these apps helps improve efficiency and advances decision-making. Since 2016, Agile Point has been packed with machine learning and AI integration and capabilities, including AWS SageMaker, Google AI, Azure Machine Learning, Salesforce Einstein, and more. With version 9, Agile Point NX Process Designer has been added with ChatGPT integration with process activities, create image, text completion, and text moderation. Now we're taking things up a notch introducing system instruction templates, enabling you to create a GPT's AI agents, literally empowering you to design your own custom Agile Point activities using natural language. Have you ever wondered how these powerful models are guided and shaped to produce the desired output? That's where system instruction comes into play. In November 2023, a year after its initial release, OpenAI released custom GPTs, which again changed our lives. System Instructions is the backbone of custom GPTs. With this new system instruction enhancement, you can now use Agile Point to create your own custom GPTs like, or better yet, an AI agent. Using system instruction, you can assure and achieve drive specific task behavior. Depending on task at hand, system instruction can guide a model to generate output tailored for that specific task. Persona customization. With system instruction, we can instruct the large language model to adopt specific persona or role, such as a friendly assistant, a creative writer, an SQL specialist, or a subject matter expert. This allows the model to maintain a con consistent tone and voice, enhancing the user experience. Content filtering or focusing. By providing instructions, user can focus or filter out or limit certain type of content from the model's output. Ethical boundaries. In a world where AI systems are becoming increasingly powerful, it's essential to establish ethical boundaries. System instruction can prevent the model from generating harmful, biased, or inappropriate content, promoting for a responsible AI development. And more. The rule of thumb is quite simple. If you can instruct it, the large language model will use it. Within the scope of an Agile Point application, this can be used to create an AI agent which is tailored for a very specific task, such as, as part of a data-driven application, converting a user natural language question to a SQL query, which will then be executing using Agile Point database activity, which will then be visualized using an AI agent to provide an answer to the user. As part of a marketing process, generate the title, theme, keynotes, and articles for the next company newsletter. Analyze process data for decision making and more. Essentially, this allows you to create your own very custom reusable Agile Point activities simply by providing the proper system instruction using natural language. More than that, as Agile Point is an orchestration and automation platform at its core, 
you can create different AI agents to work together as an agentic workflow, prompting the large language model multiple times, giving it the opportunity to build step-by-step -step higher quality output, while at the same time boosting your automation with the power and speed of AI. These examples showcase the versatility of system instruction and how they can be tailored to suit various contexts and needs. Let's see this in action with a simple newsletter AI agents. Let's start by initiating a new instance of the application we're going to use for this demo. And while it's running, I'll explain the application concept and we'll head into the app builder to explore the application design and see how it uses system instruction in order to create AI agents. So I'm going to head into my apps and we'll click on the newsletter AI agent tile, which will open up my form. And as you can see, the form is quite simple because most of the job will be done by the AI agent. So the only thing I need to provide is the newsletter title as well as the topics I would like this newsletter to cover. Now, this newsletter would be within the subject of generative AI and no code, low code platform. So <clears throat> the topics I'm going to provide is Gen AI in the use of citizen developers. Uh, Gen AI and no code, and lastly, uh, how to choose your first app. Now, of course, I can add as many uh, topics I would like, but for this uh, demo, this will do. So now let's click on the submit. And now the process has been initiated, and let's head into the app builder to explore the application design while it's running. So the application is quite simple and it has two main lanes. Uh, the one is the marketing control where we have two human activities. The first one is the star task, which we have just submitted, where we provided the title and the topics for the newsletter to cover. And the later one is in order to review the output created by the first two AI agents, which we'll see later on. The second lane is the Gen AI agents, where we have three AI agents. The first one is the topic agent. Uh, this based on, will create for each of the topics provided a title for an article, the theme for the article, and the key points that the article should cover. And once this one completes, the second AI agent will kick in. This is the newsletter article writer. This one actually writes the article for each of the topic and based on the title, the key points, and the theme provided by the first AI agent. In addition to the actual article, it will also write a summary of the article, an intro for the article, which we can use in the email uh, cover letter itself. And then the last um, AI agent is the one that takes the complete uh, output from the first two AI agents, including the feedback provided by the second activity, and we'll compile them into an actual email cover letter which we can send to our subscribers. So that has been said, let's jump in and see the actual system instruction within the topic agents. But before doing so, I would like to point out something already mentioned earlier that Agile Point was designed ground up to allow humans to work cl very closely with AI in a highly efficient manner, and that would be a very good sample to see this in action. That has been said, let's now jump into the first AI agent, the topic agent, to explore the system instruction. Now, this is based on the initial release of the text completion activity for OpenAI uh, with version 9. And the current enhancement is within the system instruction. So let's jump in. And the first thing we can see is that it is a system instruction template. So we can create different templates for different AI agent and reuse them across activities and across applications. If we click on the edit pencil, we'll open up the system instruction template and we can see the structure and the actual configuration. Now, Generally speaking, for large language model, there is no one single format or structure for how to provide system instructions. Basically, it's just instructions provided using natural language text. But we have came up with this kind of a, 
straightforward uh, simple structure which keep things standard and make sure that you do provide the proper instruction for the large language model to process and follow on the task in hand uh, while at the same time keep it um, simple readable and maintainable across different teams across different applications for the purpose of creating different type of AI agents now the for the structure has a goal and mission where you can describe the large language model what eventually you are expecting him to do uh, skills where you can provide him with a tone and role and so on uh, input where you can describe him what input you are providing him to process and output where you can explain how you expect him to eventually provide you with the output after processing the input following on the instruction and lastly and more importantly we have the actual instruction where you can just provide the detailed instruction for the large language model to follow and process the task in hand. Now, to make it easier to view the, the current uh, instruction for the AI, uh, AI topic agent, I have placed them all in the notepad so we can see them, see them in a one shot with a larger font. So uh, I am going to include this in the blog post itself so you can read this in details we are not going to read everything now uh, but it will be included in the blog post you can also uh, use it for your own needs and customize it uh, for your own preference so uh, mission your goal is to create an engaging topic titles for a newsletter content that will ensure captive audience for each of the topics uh, skills you are a marketing content creator professional expert in value-oriented training technologies which transform user lives and so on and so forth the instructions understand one understand each of the topics second identify up-to-date trends and key information for e for uh, areas for each of the topics three create an impelling title for each of the topics which address key technology trends that drives um, change and has the value to make user lives more productive and efficient and so on and so forth uh, the input we will provide him with a topic which is a comma separated string of topics for which we are expecting him to follow in uh, with, the, with the provided instruction and finally the output we are expecting him to provide us with a JSON object output which has an array of newsletter content item and each of these item has a topic which is the actual uh, user provided topic and then title theme and key points those are all generated by the AI agent topic topic agent sorry and we also have description and article these are just placeholder this will be followed up and uh, later on by the Arctic article writer agent and basically this is again um, the instruction for the first topic AI agent now likewise we have a similar uh, kind of a structure and format for the second and third AI agent just with different instructions so for in, if for instance we'll open up uh, the third one the newsletter cover agent uh, and we'll head into the system instruction sorry then again same format same uh, structure just different instruction I have this also in the notepad so we can see it in one shot more clearly um, so your goal is to create a, uh, and com uh, to compile and create an eye-catching compelling cover for a newsletter from the content that you'll provided with uh, you are a content creator marketing professional expert in community management uh, and grow via marketing channels such as newsletter and social network and so on and so forth uh, you can know that in the system instruction then the instruction schema itself it has some very specific uh, instructions for emails like make sure the layout is responsive and can look and read well on different email clients such as desktop mobile and tablets make sure to avoid keywords that will identify the email as a spam and so on and so forth so with that said that basically is how we can provide system instruction very simple very straightforward but very very powerful and by leveraging this uh, with large language models you actually empowered to create your own custom agile point activities by just natural language let's now head back into the work center to follow up with the instance we created earlier so i'm going to head into tasks 
and we can see that we have the review generated article task waiting for us. This task has been assigned to us after the first two AI agents, the topic agent and the article writer agent, has completed their work. And we can see that the topic agent has created a title for each of the topics, uh, the topics we provided, and the uh, AI agent created the titles, and we also created uh, the theme, uh, the key points, and the intro and the article were created by the writer agent, the article writer agent. And that has been done for each of the topics that we have provided. So at this point, we can obviously put our own writing, change uh, whatever provided by the AI agent, or just provide a feedback and send it back uh, uh, to the large language model to reprocess and regenerate based on our feedback uh, as needed. Uh, but I'm gonna, um, this will do for now. This is seems to be uh, good and, and okay. I'm just gonna click on the submit now. And at this point, it will follow up to the last AI agent, uh, which is going to, again, compile all the uh, provided output by the first two AI agents into uh, one cover letter that we can then send to our audience. And, and I will get an email with the actual email created so we can review it. Um, so this will take about another few um, seconds uh, to complete. Last AI agent, the email cover agent now completed as well. And I just got the email. So let me grab it to you and share. Here it is. So that email was just created by the last uh, AI agent, the email cover agent, where he in compiled all the outputs from the first two AI agent, including our feedback, into this uh, email, uh, where we have the titles for the topics, the intro for the article, um, a button, a link to go and read the complete article, and uh, so on and so forth. Now we can customize it to our own need. We can um, change the flow. We can change the writing. We can change the layout. Or we can just provide feedback and send it back to the large language model to regenerate and reprocess. Or we can do both, customize it to some extent and also provide some feedback and then send both of them to the large language model to regenerate and process. Uh, but I think you get this by now. And with that said, we are just conclude the demo uh, within this video. So let's conclude the complete uh, topic of system instruction. And I would say this, in this uh, rapid evolving world of generative AI and large language models, system instruction play a crucial role in shaping and guiding these powerful models. And by providing a clear and relevant instruction, we can unlock the full potential of these technologies, ensuring that their output aligns with our preferences, ethical standards, and specific requirements. Now, system instruction template now supported with Agile Point enables and empower you to create a custom Agile Point activities using just natural language, as well as Agile GPT's apps, a process powered by AI agents working together to drive automation of complex tasks, where Agile Point provides the orchestration, automation, and execution framework. So the next time you interact with a large language model, especially if it's within the scope of an Agile Point application, uh, remember the power of system instruction and how they can transform your experience with generative AI and boost your applications. That is for today, uh, folks. Thank you very much for joining this video and having the time to view it. And uh, keep tuned for more Agile Point news, more videos, and more features. Thank you.